So as we talked about before, um, pressure changes a lot of things in the human body. Now it changes fluids. It also changes the physical air in our body. Um, yes, we have air in our body. Um, there's a bit in our blood, but most of that air is in our lungs. Now that's not surprising. I'm breathing uh, and yelling as I talk to you. Um, you're breathing right now. There are air in our lungs. There's air in every human body um, and animals and sorts of things. So what happens as your body goes through space and the air changes? Well, it's the same thing as a water bottle on an airplane. If your water bottle is half full, half water, half air, and you take it up, well, the pressure is going to squeeze it a bit, and so your empty bottle is going to squeeze and you kind of shrink and shrivel, and then you reopen it up when you get to the ground and it kind of puffs out. Well, our lungs can do this as well when the pressure changes. Um, your lung can shrink, um, and that is because due to the changing pressure, your lung will change. Now, uh, medically, this can create some big problems, things like collapsed lungs and that sort of thing. Um, but astronauts have been known to have different changes in their lung sizes. And then as your lungs obviously change in space, this changes the insides of your body. So again, if you have depressurization or a problem in the pressure, this will change the air in your lungs as well. It could collapse your lungs, you can create other problems, and could then therefore end in a different but yet very important medical problem.